Dana, 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 Dana. Ta da! Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome, Shark Attack. <laughs> Hi. Hello, everyone. It's me. <laughs> Prism's new and only shark princess. Hello. Oh, I'm so nervous. I can't even feel my hands. <laughs> oh, so sorry about the, the rough start. I forgot to hit go live on YouTube. Hmm. <laughs> wow, there's so many people here to eat. Oh, <laughs> excuse me. I mean meat. <laughs> oh, sharks get a little hungry when we've been working really hard. I hope you'll excuse my appetite. <laughs> oh, no, don't worry, guys. Don't worry, you're safe. Mm. And to my returning viewers, welcome back. It's nice to see you guys again. Even though it's not been that long, has it? <laughs> oh, what a cute shark. Hmm, hmm. Speaking of appetite, huh? Let's see. Hmm. How about we make a deal? If you hang out with me and listen, I mean really, really listen to what I have to say, then I'll try my best not to eat you, okay? Does that sound like a plan? What do you guys think? Bone apple teeth. <laughs> Joke's on you, I'm into that. Nah, you guys wouldn't... You guys... You guys wouldn't want me to eat you, right? Oh god. Oh. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you guys? I mean, okay, listen, 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 guys. <laughs> um, if I eat you, then uh, you guys won't be able to watch my debut. And that breaks her deal about us, uh, you know, hanging out. And then you wouldn't be able to watch my genmate's debut. So, hmm, maybe not best that I eat you, right? <laughs> That's what I thought. Nibble is better. <laughs> No, no, guys. It's best not for me to eat you, okay? Listen to me. Shark girls are always right. Please remember this. We have a temper and sharp teeth and a knack for smelling blood, so we're always right. <laughs> okay? Mm, it's sound logic. Eat us a little. I don't really think that there's... That's... That's not the right alert. <laughs> that's... That's two years old. What is that doing here? <laughs> Uh, blood sacrifice is tomorrow. Yes, the blood oath ritual is tomorrow. I got the dates mixed up. Um, so sorry about that. But I'm really glad you guys could make it. Hello, hello. I know that life can get a little hectic, but it means so much to me that you guys decided to stop by my uh, underwater garage. What do you guys think? Um, I hope you guys like it. I'm a little confused um, because I have no clue how you guys got here considering it's it's underwater, um, but I'm assuming you guys brought something like scuba gear. Um, I'm sure it was it was really hard to find, but uh, I'm glad that you guys are here now. <laughs> how did you? How did you? How are you breathing? Um, uh, there's actually oxygen in in this garage. So, welcome to prison. Hello, <laughs> temporary gills. I love to figure out how to make my gills temporary. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Guys, I'm gonna be so honest. I'm so nervous. I had to take anxiety meds before I went live. <laughs> and I get really, really bashful when I meet new people. <laughs> but um, you guys are, are super lucky because I actually cleaned out my room. Hmm. Yeah, it's not usually this clean. It's actually usually like a little, a little gross, but I actually cleaned up. Just don't look under the couch, don't look under the rug, and it, it should be... Should be good. No smells, no odors, no no weird weirdness going on in the room. Everything's all clean. Um, so actually, why don't we go over some of the details for uh, for my room, okay? So if you don't mind me taking a step back here, uh, I'm gonna go back to the gr the the guitars over here. So as you guys see, um, I actually have a lot of guitars, um, which is kind of weird. Um, I'm not sure why, because I actually don't play guitar. 
Um, I, I like know a couple chords. I know like C and F and F is really hard. Um, and I know G and D and like A minor and E minor and all those things. But um, I, <laughs> Ko is gonna be into this. I was really thinking that maybe Ko Senpai could, uh, could teach me. Mm, maybe, I don't know, maybe. I'll have to ask her. <laughs> um, but it's the same thing with the drums. I don't know if you guys can see them. I don't actually play the drums. I tried to take um, a drum lesson once and uh, I I sort of hit them way too hard. And um, yeah, it's not, I'm not good at it. But I'm, I'm thinking you guys, if we're all gonna be in a band together, you guys could help me um, learn the instruments sometime. Hmm? Um, okay. <laughs> Maybe this is someone else's room. No, guys, I'm really just trying to look cool. Obviously, I'm trying to get the band together. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I'm getting the band together. Um. <laughs> is that a saw on your tail? What? No, it's just a cute little piece of fabric. <laughs> okay, um, I also have movie posters. Um, over here, we've got Scott Pilgrim. Um, I've seen that movie so many times. Uh, it's kind of a classic. Um, and then Jaws, obviously. I have some really crazy connections to Jaws that you guys will see later. Um, and then, obviously, we also have the Meg, because shark movies, duh. Um, also have a cool connection with the Meg. I hope that you guys will look forward to it. And then, over here, across the room, across the way, um, we have... Godzilla and listen I love Godzilla I think these posters match my room quite nicely um Godzilla is awesome I really love him he's he's just neat he's just a neat little guy um so yes love Godzilla Sharkzilla which Godzilla I actually my favorite Godzilla movie is the 2016 movie that was actually the first Godzilla movie that I'd seen but um I really liked it a lot and um, I didn't love the one the newer one with Millie Bobby Brown I just thought that one was eh. but I I know I like Godzilla a lot um and then here we have my uh my sweet sweet little blahage i know that's not how you pronounce it but i actually don't know how to pronounce the actual name of it so um yes this is my blahage he is so sweet i love him more than anything he um means the world to me let's all give him a kiss okay Mwah! little kiss for blahage he deserves it he is my sm emotional support stuffed animal yes i love him um all right well I guess um, I can come back up here, huh? I was thinking, since I showed you my room and everything, <laughs> that maybe we could get to know each other. Hmm? Can I um? Can I show you some some information? Some I have a handy little pocket projector that I brought with me. I have a lot to talk about, and I want to show you guys some stuff um, I prepared for you. So, um, is that okay? Can I, can I, uh, can I introduce myself to you? I know a lot of you guys are returning viewers and you guys know me already, but there's a lot of new people too. So, um, okay. PowerPoint time. Okay. 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 Let's go. Ta-da! This is my handy dandy little PowerPoint. Um, and I, I made it just for you guys. So I hope that you'll enjoy. This is all about sharks. I made a little slideshow um, all about learning about sharks, especially the ones with the last name Samishima. Um, you're gonna learn a lot, so make sure you write some stuff down, okay? Hmm? Okay, let's get into it. You may be wondering, how is a Mako shark walking upright, wearing clothes, and talking to me in an underwater garage? Hmm? Because I would be confused too. Well... It all started when my dad met my mom, and they had me. Hi, my name is Miko Samishima, and my life is a little crazy. <laughs> uh, and, uh, my dad, a local fisherman, um, met my mom, the queen of sharks. He was a very brave man. Hmm, let's just say that, a very brave man. Um, and, you know, the uh, logistics of it are kind of fuzzy, kind of... <laughs> he was not freaky! That is my father! That is my father! Hmm, I don't want to spend too much time on the details, okay, guys? <laughs> Moving on. 
Um, as I told you guys before, <laughs> my name is Mako Sameshima. Not Mako, not Mako. It's Mako, like the shark. It's a type of shark, in case you didn't know. Um, it's confusing, I guess, sometimes to some people. So just when in doubt, think of the, the shark. Um, the, you know, it's the name of a shark, guys. <laughs> um, I am 165.1 centimeters tall which is equal to 5'5", five five. I need you guys to know that the point one is very, very, very important. Um, I am very tall. I know I'm practically towering all of all of you, towering over all of you. Um, I can't help it. I'm so tall. It's not short, actually. I don't think you could even name one person taller than me. Yeah, see, tall, see? Yeah, it's very important. I don't think you guys could... Yeah, okay. The average height for a woman is like... Five, uh, five, three, five, four. So I'm technically, I'm taller than average. So put some respect on my name, okay? Uh, <laughs> Shaq is taller. Yeah, well, no, no shit. <laughs> um, okay, my birthday is May 3rd. It already passed. Um, I will be accepting late birthday uh, messages. So, you can go ahead and put those in chat now. Um, that makes me a Taurus. You guys, here's the little the little bull, little Taurus symbol. Um, there's a lot of things, I think, that go into being a Taurus. Um, being a Taurus, yeah. Does that mean that I'm stubborn? <laughs> Does that mean I'm stubborn and lazy and passionate to a fault? And hot-headed, terrified of change, and unable to accept the fact that I can be the problem? <laughs> No, that sounds nothing like me at all. I don't know who you guys could be talking about. Happy birthday, Mako. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I am a short fin Mako. They're the cuter ones of the two. They have shorter fins. That does not mean that I'm shorter. That does not mean I'm small. Just means that I have shorter fins. Nothing wrong with that, guys. Um, my Oshi mark is a, uh, a shark and a bone, obviously, because I'm a shark. And I love to chew on bones, especially the, the hard ones like your femur, duh. Um, I love femurs, they're my favorite. So if you have any spare femurs, um, cause I know a lot of people do, um, you can just deliver them to my underwater mailbox. Is it because my father boned a shark? Um, hmm, good question. Moving on, okay guys. <laughs> this is the most important part of this slide. It's my tags. Um, I need, I need, oh, oh, I need a new band name, okay? So I was, I was wondering if I could actually write these down. Um, I used to call you guys beaches, but I feel like that, you know, I mean, it's supposed to sound like bitches, but it's kind of aggressive. <laughs> and also it's uh, kind of, it's kind of lame. So um, I was wondering if you guys had any ideas. Um, you love beaches? It stays. <laughs> Shark bait. I was just, what, what do you guys, you guys like beaches? You guys, <laughs> it's me, I'm beaches. <laughs> do you guys want to be my beaches? <laughs> Only if you guys are okay with it. I wouldn't, I you know, I wouldn't want to hurt anyone's feelings. Beaches, we like beaches. Okay, all right, sold. <laughs> I guess we'll keep it. It's easier for me to remember anyways. Mm -hmm. I'm just a little beach. Guys, please don't take me to the glue factory. <laughs> okay, well, um, I was gonna put a poll up on Twitter for the band name, but I guess that's not necessary anymore. So, we can move on. Um, I have my tags listed in the top right. Um, first of all, we have my art tag, um, which is Mako Art. And guys, um. I know, these are really confusing. These are really hard to memorize. So, uh, it, you know, I understand if you guys have trouble, okay? So the first one is Mako Art. Very self-explanatory. And the second one, I don't know if you guys, uh, I don't know if you guys can guess. Um, can you guys guess what, what the second one is? It's it's a live tag. It's Mako <laughs> Mako Live. Duh. It's also on the screen. So, you know. But some, some of you guys maybe can't read. Sharks are illiterate, so I wouldn't blame you. <laughs> um, 
And then my meme tag is Mako Sa Meme. I came up with this one like last week. <laughs> I'm really proud of it. I think it's funny. You guys get the joke? You guys get it? Mako love? <laughs> um, yes, Mako Sa Meme. Y you get it? You want me to explain it? You okay, so the joke is that Same means shark in Japanese. Okay, so and my last name is Same Shima. You guys get it? It's very funny. Okay. Um, I think, guys, I think we're getting along really, really well. So I want to introduce you guys to, um, well, I want to introduce you to my family. Is that okay? <laughs> Here. Mm. Ta-da! This is my family tree. Um, yes, it's very extensive, but I put it together just for you guys. Um, so let's get to it. This is my, this is my dad's side. We'll start here. This uh, handsome man here is uh, Ren McCormick, and he he married this beautiful golden-haired beauty. Who's that guy on the top left? Chat alert. You know, I think he uh, sort of has that face. A lot of people always say he looks familiar. Um, but yes, uh, he just has one of those faces. Um, that's Ren McCormick. And these two had a child, um, and then the list goes on for a while, and then you have my fisherman dad. So if you count from where I am, and you count upwards, that's one, two, three, four, five, including me, six, six degrees from Kev, from Red McCormick. <laughs> and if you don't get the joke, it's fine. Um, <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> on my mom's side, um, this is the really, this is the important one you guys have to remember. Um, so, uh, this is my great, great, great grandpa, Jaws. And after that, you know, he, he married this beauty here. And they had great grandpa Lenny. Great, great grandpa Lenny, excuse me. And then they had a child and that was great grandpa Bruce. And then after that, there's grandma Meg. And she's really, really cool. Uh, but she, she's hard to get a hold of. She like disappears for months at a time. No one knows where she is. People are always looking for her. Um, and then there's my mom. She's the queen of sharks. Um, well, she was until she disappeared. Not cool. Now I have to be princess. Ugh, gag. Gross. I have my mom smile. Thank you. I get that a lot. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> uh. Um, and uh, after. After my mom had me, she knew that I was going to be very special. So uh, she actually kept a baby book of me. And so these are some of my baby pictures. Um, and I, I wanted to go over it. So um, I'm sure you guys recognize some of these pictures. First of all, this is me in my most primal form. I never, I never truly uh, evolved from this. This is still very, very much uh, me today, you know. Um, and then we've got these <sighs> Mako in her youth. What a what a long time ago. Although I'm sure it wasn't. <laughs> it's really not that long. You guys remember, huh? I am pretty young after all. I'm I'm just a little guy. So yeah, very um very youthful shots here. Um. So and then we have some like washi tape, um, some stickers. These are my footprints. Um, I don't show feet for free, but um, I decided I would show my footprints because, you know, they're yeah, cute. They're little. Um, and then there's like a, a picture of me down here in the corner. You can't really see it, but I do have face tune on for this one. Um, so I look a little bit more, um, like a little bit more realistic, as you could say. Um, I just look a little bit nicer. How much for, f okay, no. Anyways. <laughs> um, but now that I've grown, now that I've grown, I definitely have more of a refined taste. And um, so gone are the days of mainstream compliance. I have my own hobbies now. Let me show you my likes and dislikes. Ta-da! So, um, I made a little list of things that I like and don't like, and I would like to show you guys them, and maybe you guys will get to know me better. These should not come as a surprise to my existing audience. We'll get to it, okay? Listen, we'll get to it. First of all, I really like idols. Um, 
I, I love idols actually, specifically Love Live School Idol Project. Um, I've liked them for a very long time and they sort of got me into the world of idols. And um, so yeah, shout out Love Live School Idol Project. Um, and I, I really like the cold. Most sharks live in cold water anyways. Um, I really like being bundled up and stuff. So love cold. I love all sorts of music. I'm a music lover. Um, any genre, I probably listen to it and like it. Um, I was raised on a lot of different types of music. So I'm, I've got an open mind. Let me, I need to take a sip of water. I have allergies and it's drying out my throat. <laughs> Um, I love baking. I make a really good bunt cake. Um, it's basically actually it's just a pound cake, but I make it in a bunt pan. Um, I make them for the holidays. My family loves it. I love comedy movies. Um, I love arcade games. I, I used to go to the arcade every weekend, so um, I have a lot of favorite arcade games, but I, I think my top two are Musica. I, I like Groove Coaster too. Uh, and then I really like uh, Cyber Troopers Virtual On. It's a robot fighting game that I'm not sure is very common. I don't, I don't know. I haven't played it in a while. Um, and then I really like psychology and I collect perfume. Um, so yeah, I love perfume. Perfume is is a hobby of mine, <laughs> kind of a, a niche weird hobby, but yes, I collect perfume. Um, I guess I smell good, yeah? Virtual Honest is so fun. It's so, it's so fun. Um, for my dislikes, I dislike cotton balls. Um, I know this is really weird. I think everybody has like a weird thing, like one thing they don't like touching. I don't like touching cotton balls. I don't like the way that they feel. <laughs> and I don't like pulling them apart. Um, I think they just, I, it gives me goosebumps. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't like bugs. I hate bugs actually, specifically spiders. I hate waking up early. I don't think anyone does though. If you like to wake up early, good on you. Early bird gets the worm. That is not for me. Um, I hate romance movies. Is it because they're corny or is it is it because they make me sad, you know? Knowing that real life is never like like the movies. Hmm. I don't like carpeted stairs. I don't think, you know, carpeted stairs everyone's scared of, yeah? And um, last year I actually they weren't even carpeted, but I did fall down the stairs and I uh, I almost broke my ass, ended up in the hospital. Um, and they gave me some scans. I didn't break anything, didn't fracture anything. But to this day, I have nerve damage and it looks like my right butt cheek has a BBL. It never went away. All the swelling. <laughs> I wish that these Twitch alerts would stop because I don't have, I'm not, whatever. Um, I hate math. Don't ask me to do math, please. Just any type of math. I, even if it's addition, I still count on my fingers. Okay, I can do two plus two though. Um, and then finally, I'm, I'm terrified of the ocean. <laughs> I, um, I have thalassophobia, like, really bad, uh, which maybe is partially why I am a shark. Maybe it's, like, a manifestation of all my fears, and then I was born again, isekai into this world, maybe, as a shark. But they it freaks me out, like, a lot, and, um, you know, I specifically hate, I specifically hate, like, big creatures. <laughs> <laughs> the water you guys think I'm crazy you guys think I'm crazy but I hate like whale like I love whales but I hate whales when they're like in the water like pictures I don't, I don't know how to explain it okay you know the scene in life of pi when they zoom out of the boat I think this is a scene in life and pi life of pi where they zoom up and it's like an aerial shot of the boat and there's like a whale under it <clears throat> I hate it. I hate it so much. It makes me feel sick to my stomach. Also, in movies, when the, there's the big wave and then you can see the stuff, you can see like the fish and the like and the whales and the stuff inside. I'm turning off alerts for now. I'm so sorry. When you can see the the, the sea creatures behind the wave, it's terrifying. I don't like it. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, that's that's kind of like a, a breakdown of things I like and don't like. But I wanted to get a little bit more specific, so I made a list of my favorite things. And I'm going to go over these um, sort of fast, but you know, if you guys have any questions, please ask because I would love to answer. Um, for my favorite anime, I love Fully Cooly. I have no idea what it's about to this day. I've watched it multiple times. I know that it's a coming of age movie. Um, and Not movie, anime. What the hell? Um, I know it's a coming of age show and um, I love the pillows, like music. I think the music is fantastic. So. Love Fully Cooly. Um, love Live, obviously. Um, Ellie Ayase is best girl. 
And then I really like Magical Girl Raising Project. This is an anime that came out, I think the same year that Yuri on Ace came out, so it didn't get a lot of attention. But um, it's really good. It's about magical girls that slay and kill each other, and um, they're cute, and who doesn't like that? Um, as far as my favorite games, Firewatch and Oxenfree are my top two. Um, they really got me into gaming. I wasn't much of a gamer before COVID. Um, actually, I barely touched my computer. I just played um, Zoo Tycoon and Sims on PC, <laughs> and then um, I played Mario Kart on the Wii. And then I played these two games on my laptop. I uh, started, started getting into gaming and fell in love with gaming. And yeah, these two games really, I love them a lot. Um, and then uh, Musica, Cyber Troopers, Virtual On. Those are two games that I really like. They're arcade games, love them. And that's it for gaming. Okay, moving on. Um, <laughs> for music, I love uh, Sublime and Billy Joel. Billy Joel means a lot to me. Um, Grimes, Aurora, I really like how they push boundaries for music. I think they're very cool and talented. Um, Uchida Aya, she's a voice actress for uh, Minami Kotori in Love Live. I think that um, her music is really cool as well, and I love her voice, and I just love the stuff that she puts out. Um, I know this is really cringe. You guys have probably never heard of this band before. They're called The Beatles. They're really, really um, underground. <laughs> no, um, I, I actually, I The Beatles, I know they're a little corny, but um, their music means a lot to me as well. So I have I have really good memories. How, how do you feel about League of Legends? That's, that's so weird that you would say that because I actually have no idea what that is. <laughs> um, and then I like Class of Rock as well. If your dad listens to it, I probably do too. Um, as far as drinks go, Winter Melon Tea is my favorite all time. I like the bitterness and the tanginess of it. Um, I love soju. <laughs> Who doesn't love soju? It's good by itself. It's good mixed with other stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I love Baja Blast. I feel like that's kind of a basic take nowadays, but um, I would like to think that I started the Baja Blast trend. Um, <laughs> and then I like cherry Kool-Aid a lot. There's practically no sugar in it and it's so good and you could just keep guzzling it all day. It's so good. Um, for movies, I love Knives Out. Um, I love movies that make you think a lot. I didn't mention um, on the slide because I forgot, but I really liked Nope and The Menu as well. Those are newer movies. I thought they were fantastic. Um, I really liked Bullet Train. Love Superbad. <laughs> Superbad is like, I used to watch that like once a week for like six months. <laughs> Not actually, but listen, I, I could quote it front and back. It's a classic. I know it's kind of embarrassing, but yeah, I, I do love it. Um, I love Lord of the Rings. I'm a fantasy fan. And then I really like James Bond movies, the older ones. Not a huge, not a huge fan of the new ones, but I do like the old ones. Um, and then for foods, I like beef tenderloin with horseradish, specifically with horseradish. I love horseradish sauce. Um, I like buffalo chicken, whether it's buffalo chicken sandwich, buffalo chicken um, mac and cheese, buffalo chicken wings, any of it. It's so good. Um, and then I like chilies with uh, chilies, chili. Not the restaurant. The restaurant's not that good. <laughs> I like chili with extra beans. I love beans a lot. I just wish I could eat them all the time. Um, and then goat cheese. I don't know if that counts as a food group, but I just, I could put it on everything, especially on pita chips. It's very good. And then on the right here, I have some shorter ones. My favorite color is actually pink, contrary to popular belief. Love pink. Um, I love winter in general i think i love the cold like i think it's just so fun to be bundled up and everything is all gray and snowy and christmas time and oh my god um and then my favorite shark is actually a, sh a hammerhead shark hmm i tried to be a hammerhead vtuber but it i couldn't figure out where to put the eyes so <laughs> all righty um moving on Finally, I compiled a little list of shark facts for you guys. These are absolutely 100% vital to our friendship, so please jot these down so you don't forget. Sharks are very, very um, sensitive about their accomplishments, okay? So number one, there are over 500 species of sharks. I don't know them, so don't ask. All you need to know is that there's only one Mako Shima. Number two, sharks don't have bones, so please handle with care. Some of us are very fragile. Um, number three, most sharks have good eyesight, actually, but I'm not most sharks, so... <laughs> um, I wish that, it, you know, we'll just do that. Um, number four, 
Shark skin feels like sandpaper, okay? So if you try to hug me, cuddle me, or whatever, expect some sort of rash somewhere. Um, you're probably gonna want some like cream, maybe some lotion. Um, and then um, number five is my favorite. Sharks sometimes will develop teeth when they're embryos in the womb and they'll eat their siblings. Um, I just thought this one was silly, you know, it's, it's not that important, but you know, who knows? Maybe I could have had a brother. To close off the slideshow, <laughs> Um, I created a little credit slide for my modelers. Um, I wanted to thank these lovely, lovely, lovely people for working extra hard to make me look this beautiful. They worked super fast and super hard. Um, Weiss Studio, they were great to work with. Everyone say thank you, okay? Everyone say thank you, they did amazing. Um, and then I also have credits for the rest of the, um, of the stream in my about section below. So if you're curious about who did anything, go check that out. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Vice Studio. Thank you. Cool, let's see what's next. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, I wanted to uh, talk to you guys about something you're probably wondering. So let's move out of the slideshow, okay? Oh, let me close this out. Ta-da, okay. Much better. So, um, as I was saying, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about something important. And um, that would be, why did Mako Sameshima join Prison Project? <laughs> Looking respectfully. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, amazing model. Yes, they did a wonderful job. I'm very cute. Um, so, so, right. So, why did Mako, oops, excuse me. Why did Mako Sameshima join Prison Project? Um, I kind of had a whole thing going there as an indie, huh? I guess, I guess you could say that. <laughs> but, uh, I guess behind the scenes, I was really going through, like, a burnout, I guess? I don't know. I, I was really, I was really burnt out. Um, there sort of reaches a point where you can only push so much before it starts to feel like it's over. And I was certainly feeling this way with my content. <laughs> burnout sucks. Yeah, it really does. Um, it was, it was not a good time. This is getting kind of formal, <laughs> I just I just brought you to meet my parents. What do you mean this is getting formal? Hmm. I am adventuring more. Yes, I saw Prism um, opened auditions a while ago, and I was I was really curious. I had heard about them, and I had saw recently that they were under Sony management now. So, well, I guess they were under Sony Music, not management. Excuse me. They were under Sony Music, and I thought that was kind of cool. So I just sent in my audition one night. Like I just submitted it, and it was kind of random. <laughs> Um, how long ago was that? Um, it was a while. It was a long time. I was, it was sometime last year, like m la late last year, but not too late. <laughs> um, I thought that they were, they were cool. I sent in my audition and I didn't really think much of it. I just sort of like went to bed. Um, and, and as I went to bed, I was just thinking like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna accept anything if they offer me anything. Like I'm happy as an indie. Sure, I'm a little burned out, but I'm I just shrugged it off. I think a majority of the reason why that I, like why I auditioned was just to see if I still got it, you know what I mean? Um to see if I still had um my my I don't know, my drive to create content, maybe like if I still had the personality to create content. I I don't know, I just needed some sort of sign. Did I get in? No. I didn't get in. <laughs> I did get an email back saying they wanted to continue hearing about me. Um, and this kept happening. I was getting an interview and then another interview. And I was like, holy shit, these people like actually care about my endeavors and they see my potential. And I am I think I might actually have to make a decision. And um, <laughs> holy moly, <laughs> damn better luck next time. Excuse me. Um. After my final interview, that's when I felt really enchanted by the idea of being a talent under PRISM. The opportunities and the friendships, I sort of like felt like I had a family. I didn't really have that before. I had a lot of friends. Um, I had a lot of friends and I still have a lot of friends and I love them so much, but I didn't have a, a group, like a family. Um, maybe when I first started streaming, but as people started to, I guess, find their own 
sort of communities and friend groups, I didn't feel like I had a family anymore. So um, I definitely feel that way now. F is for family. It is all about family. <laughs> Gen 7 love. Um, I feel like now I can finally push myself to my full potential. And I can do things that I couldn't before. Like create music, guest star at conventions, and I can put my brain together like this and rub and create cool stuff with other people. You know, unique content. Mm, I get a family now. Yes, I found a home. Um, with all of these changes, though, there will be some things that are different. Obviously, I'm not on Twitch anymore, which is fine. You guys have seen the state of things at Twitch. Um, I will miss it a lot. But I think YouTube has a lot of cool features that Twitch doesn't. For example, my VODs will be here permanently. They will reside here on my channel. And I won't have to have people go in. Is your VOD still up? Do you have the VOD for this? Can I still see the VOD? It's like, I'm sorry, I don't remember to download VODs. So this is great. I am still navigating YouTube, but I think that I got this. The worst comes to worst is that you'll have to be patient with me. <laughs> Um, worst comes to worst, I will have growing pains and you guys will just help me out with those. I had to reset up all of OBS and I even got new alerts for things like super chats, which I'm not familiar with at all, but I know that, uh, Twitch just rolled out something similar. So I did get something similar, but like on my last stream, it was, it was kind of, it was kind of cool. But, um, yeah, speaking of super chats, I'm not currently monetized yet. Um, however, if you still want to support me, I have a Streamlabs donation link in my About section. Um, of course, you guys don't have to donate. Just being here is enough for me, but I figured I would mention it. Hmm. <laughs> ah. Howdy, howdy, hello. The Prism Girls have been so supportive. And the voice, too. They've been very supportive of me. Mm-hmm. Show them how cool your tail is. Okay, maybe, maybe at the end of the stream, yeah? Um, also... Things will change a little bit for my community. All my community uh, interactions have, for the most part, been public, but they are going to have to stay this way. Um, I love my community so, 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 so much. You guys know that. And um, I love the fun that we have together, all the fun that we can create together. <laughs> um, however, as I aim for greater heights and work with a professional team, I also want to hold myself to professional standards as well as a talent. So I need to you know, maintain a certain level of professionalism. Um, and I hope that this doesn't deter you from coming to support me during my streams. Um, oh my god, I definitely... Alright, I'm turning off alerts for real this time. I'm gonna get that sorted out, guys. I'll get rid of the, the old alerts. I don't know why they're still there. Um, this means, uh, as far as my community goes, that I will continue to interact with my friends on Twitter and such. Um, I have a lot of friends from before YouTube and before joining PRISM, and I don't ever, 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 ever plan on breaking those friendships. My friends mean the world to me. Um, I know some corporate VTubers sort of start over once they debut, um, but because I'm still me, I'm still going to be friends with my friends, and I'll still be reaching out to them, so I expect a lot of internally sourced content, but also a lot of externally sourced collabs with my friends. Mako is still Mako. Yeah, Twitch doesn't want to let me go. It, it's true. Hmm. All in all, guys, I think I just want you guys to be really patient with me and my growing pains. Um, it might seem really jumbled and disjointed at first, but I promise, 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 it'll all be worth it. I just need to find my ground in this new part of life. Hmm. It's all about growth. And I think you guys will find that the best version of myself will be the version that I, um... I'm going to be with Prism. I'll be creating content way more often, um, setting some really, really cool goals for myself as well, and I'll have like a bajillion more opportunities to create music. So um, I'll be able to get more, you know, more cool stuff like the game in my debut intro, which by the way, is a playable game that you guys will be able to play. And I will be posting more about that on Twitter after the debut relay. Um, and then I'll create some other really cool stuff too, I hope. So I really hope you guys are looking forward to it. Five foot six soon. <laughs> yes, poggies, poggies, poggies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Guys, unfortunately, this is actually my max height, so you have to love me like this. Take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. Mm. Wow, I see so many of my friends in there too. Hi, guys. Oh, 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 oh. speaking of music, um, don't forget, guys. I have a cover dropping tomorrow morning at 11 uh, a.m. EST, which is midnight JST. 
I worked really, 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 really hard on this. Um, I'm super duper proud of it. Um, I think it will be really different from some of the other covers you guys have heard in this industry. Um, it's not very idly, um, and it certainly is different. So I hope that you guys will enjoy it. Um, it's already posted. The wait room is already up. So please go check that out at the end um, of this stream. Actually, no, don't go check it out at the end of the stream because we are redirecting to my gen mate. But um, check it out tomorrow. So yeah, keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> Uh, congrats, Miko. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Um, guys, I think... I think that about does her. <laughs> I really, really appreciate you all coming. My game is going to be on itch.io. So, uh, itch.io? Io? Io? I don't know. Um, you guys will be able to play it. Um, I expect to see some speed runs. Um, if you have a speed run or, you know, you beat it way faster than me, which you probably will. Um, please post it on Twitter. I want to host a contest at some point, so get good at it. You know, start practicing. And I will show you the tail now. As a treat. As a treat. My little puppy dog wags. <laughs> ah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> Thank you all so, 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 so much for coming. Um, I hope you guys will continue to tune in to your favorite shark princess. But for now, we're going to go visit Nana in the stars. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.